You're watching Talking About Orcs. With the release of the new Orc facts and the updated Death Roller rules, uh, we need to talk about, I figured I would talk about, a couple situations where the Death Roller comes into play. In our first situation here, I've set up Death Roller Battle Wagon, and the Marine player has moved a Rhino in way of an, um, a Predator to protect the Predator from the Death Roller. So let's see how this scenario plays out. It's your turn, and now the Death Roller Battle Wagon declares a full 12 inch ramming move. So we then begin the movement phase. We then hit the Rhino. We measure how far the, the Battle Wagon has moved, and it is at this point moved three inches. So now the Death Roller does D6, I rolled a two. Let's see what we got here, which results in a, a glance and a pen. I roll horribly, I guess. And so our one pen is a four immobilized. Now if we get an immobilized result, that's it. That's as far as the battle wagon moves. It stops. The only way the battle wagon's move can continue is if we get an explode result. So let's try again with a better roll. Okay, now we got six hits, resulting in five pens. See if I can explode. Yep, I get an explode. Okay, even a wrecked, a five will still get you um, a, a wreck in the way, and the battle wagon has to stop. But in this case, we got an explode result. So we'll remove this. Now what we do, of course, is we'll have area of difficult terrain right here, and the passengers will get out. We got five assault marines. So we roll wounds, get two, and no marines die. So now we put in the Marines where the Rhino was. Okay, at this point, the tank shock move is allowed to continue. The first thing we do is we roll for diff dangerous train test, which we're good. Of course, with the death roller, you have the reroll. So now we move in. Total movement now is four inches, and we tank shock the unit. Unfortunately, you have to keep going in a straight line, so a savvy player will put there's melt a bomb or power of his guy, whoever if he wants to death or glory, he has to put the the model he wants to death or glory with in the path of the battle wagon. Like this model out here that's not in the path of the of the tank, it would not be moved. Let's say we put one right there. This guy here would not be moved by the wagon and he cannot tank shock or he cannot death or glory. Only models that would be moved by the vehicle can death or glory. Which is very important when you're playing things like Thunderwolf Cavalry and they only have one melt bomb you can actually aim your tank shock away from the melt bomb guy and only tank shock the other the other models. Uh, it may not get you in the correct position, but at least you don't have to worry about the melt bomb death of glory. That's even if he would do it, but I doubt they would. So now we tank shock this unit, and they take... So let's roll their leadership first. Oh, and I forgot their pinning check. Let's just assume they passed their pinning check. So eight, they're good, they passed their leadership. So now they take one... So they one wound, and they saved. So now these guys will get out of the way of the battle wagon. And again, we've already passed our dangerous train test for here, for the for where the rhino was. And we move the final six inches, or the final five inches, and contact the predator. So now we've moved nine inches, which gives us a three, gives us a strength eight hit from the, from the ram. And only seven back from the predator, so, so it can't hurt you. So we take again, six hits on the Predator, which results in four pins and a glance. Let's roll those pins. Now it's only wrecked, because it's only wrecked instead of explodes. This is where the tank stops. So that's how the Death Roller will work against vehicles. Yes. The move can get quite complex if you've got multiple vehicles with transports and units, tank shocking, ramming, death or glory, all of that mixed in can result in a uh, very time-consuming and drawn-out movement of a single model. So it is definitely something to take into account if you're playing your games, the time involved with making these moves. So there's the basics of ramming and tank shocking with the new death roller rules. And thanks for watching this episode of Talking About Orcs.